Well, I got it cleaned up and I'm ready to try it out. I'm going to use rebar, 11 inches of it. And um, as I understand it, rebar is quite a hard metal. So we'll just have to see, go slow and see if it can do anything with it. I tried to center it up, uh, but I don't have a live center, so I wasn't successful in using that. The other thing is that piece of angle iron is bent, so I'm ha going to have trouble with it until I get outside with the hammer and anvil and straighten it up a bit. I don't have much of an idea of which tool I should use. I'm just looking at it and trying to figure it out logically. Uh, the first tool I did attempt to use was not right for the job. And um, because the rod was bent uh, so much, there was no way I was going to get it turned. A lot of fits and starts and vibration. Here comes the first attempt, and it's going to be a sight.
Gee whiz. That center is not going to hold for a number of reasons. <laughs> but I'm just now realizing that. So I'm going to use it without, in between the bent bar, a rebar bar, and um, uh, <laughs> the length of it sticking out. Uh, it's quite a sight. This is called hit or miss, but mostly miss.
vibration from the tool hitting the ridges on that rebar uh, has caused some things to loosen up and fall off.
Well, as you can see, this is going to be a slow go. Um, I guess due to the hardness of the steel, I can only take very thin layers off. So, and the fact that I'm dealing with a crooked piece of a rebar. Uh, but given this, I think will be probably a, an example of the worst case of the machining and how well this mini lathe holds up. And I'm pretty pleased with it. Um, I've got a, a live center uh, ordered and a, a drill bit ordered. Um, so I should get that in Sunday. But um, the other thing I didn't order and should have is a deviation meter. Uh, instead of having to eyeball to see if it's straight, I can check and see exactly how far off it is. The whole reason for doing the truing is to take something that's an uneven surface, a slight uneven surface, and, and cut it down to the smallest point. And, uh, a good smooth straight truce uh, surface. As you as I roll the uh, piece of rebar across the table you can see <laughs> how bent it is. So I'm going to take it out to the um, out to the uh, arbor and uh, hit it with a hammer a few times and see if I can improve it. Couldn't hurt.
Okay, well, that's, that's about as much as I'm going to do today. Um, that took about 15, 20 minutes. Very slow. Of course, a lot of it is I'm inept and having to learn as I go. But at any rate, it can do what I wanted it to do. I will get better at it.